I can't resist the uh, temptation to just say a word about the coalition. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about these issues, uh, both the Nigerian situation specifically and more generally what is going on around the world, uh, please check out SaveThePersecutedChristians.org. Um, these banners, uh, this exhibit of which these three pop-up displays are examples, uh, are available for teaching and helping bring to understanding and hopefully action um, our countrymen and women, and we would welcome your participation in this effort. Um, are there any questions that uh, those of you here might wish? Uh, Stephen Anada, would you like to say something? Welcome from ICON. Um, thank you, Frank. Uh, thank everybody here. Uh, I would like to just make a simple request because uh, 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 holiday season, Christmas is here, and uh, uh, it bothers me uh, about Leah Sharif. And uh, I would like to request, if this is possible, we have uh, just a hashtag to reawaken people's consciousness about uh, her being held captive because she's a prisoner of conscience and other Boko Haram. And what we Don't should tell her story. Yeah, uh, Leah Sharibu was uh, one among uh, uh, young girls abducted by Boko Haram in Yobe State, Dabchi. And uh, uh, when they were captured, uh, other uh, uh, member, other colleagues of our students were actually released, but she was not. And we are asking that uh, the same back channel that was used by Nigeria government to get other release should be also used to get her release. That has Why not happened. Why was she not released? She was not released because of uh, uh, her uh, faith, because uh, she is a Christian, and then they say she has to denounce her faith, but she held firm to her faith at that moment. And she is still in captivity, not her alone. I can tell you that there are other uh, even Muslim uh, uh, girls that were abducted also. And this is actually about uh, uh, human cruelty against especially girls. So we want to protect every girl irrespective of uh, her faith, whether Muslim or Christian, because even these Boko Haram are so cruel that they abduct both Muslim and Christians. So now I'm just asking, sir, if we can do a little hashtag, we have something on Leah Sharibu and ask the world to please advocate for her. Thank you. Thank you. We have a specific suggestion for a hashtag. Yes. Kyle? Here it is. No, no. Well, well. The bishop has it in his hands. It's free Leah Sharabu, spelled phonetically. We delight in helping spread the word about that. Thank you for bringing it up. Are there any questions for Congressman Wolf, the bishop, Father Mahana, any of us? If not, then I think, uh, unless there's anything you'd like to say in closing, thank you very much to all of you for coming. Thank you most especially for our presenters. Forgive me again for my uh, uh, lousy emceeing, but um, I'm so appreciative of everybody's help in this cause, um, making clear, as we said, both the stakes and the possibility of doing something before bad things happen if we act quickly. So uh, again, Please check out SaveThePersecutedChristians.org and participate in this important cause with uh, our friends in Nigeria and beyond. God bless you all. You